Hi, so here's going to be a video on this um, Nightcore NU10 rechargeable LED headlamp. I have, as of recent, become a very big fan of USB rechargeable flashlights and headlights for the simple reason that you don't have to dick around with batteries and getting, you know, the high quality, high capacity batteries, taking them out of the charger, putting them back in, and uh, so on and so forth. So I'll pick this one up on the Flea Bay. Like everything, there's a whole bunch of, you know, counterfeit fakes coming from different manufacturers and so on. This one seemed pretty legitimate until two of the LEDs crapped out on me and I wanted to pull the thing apart and see why that was. So you gotta start by separating the two halves. It is sonically welded and I can't tell you how close I came to jamming an X-Acto right through this, um, well it says it's a lithium ion pack but it looks like a lithium polymer to me just by its construction. 3.7 volts, 900 milliamp hours. I, I forget what the spec is on the, the power capacity rating on it, but it is 3.7 volts, so that's good. You just carefully separate the adhesive, and the reflector comes off. It does say night core on the board, and that doesn't look too questionable. Um, I'll go ahead and show you in a minute how it fucked up, but. Basically, when we turn it on, these should be coming on and they are not. One of them slowly started to blink and die out, the other one just stopped working. I suspect it's due to poor quality control on the LEDs. And I'll go ahead and show you my testing on this here in a second. Okay, so super simple here, nothing fancy. Just have a regular digital multimeter and we're gonna see how exactly this works. That's the red LED. All you have is solid and flash. And then, okay, that's the red LED. This one is the three output modes. So we have a low, medium, a high. I don't think there's any other functions. Okay, that's like a battery test. And then if you hold them both down, it's a lockout. So we'll start with the low and we'll see what it's putting out. I'm pretty sure it's just pulse width modulating the output case, so 2.58, it's off, it's medium, 2.6, and then high, 3.16 volts. So these are the ones that are illuminated, and then as for the ones that are not functional, oops, shorted it out, uh, there's probably a ground point somewhere on here, okay into frame so I'm just gonna hang on to the ground point there and uh, check the output 3.18 and oops and 3.18 so we are getting power to the LEDs they have just crapped out now these aren't the cheapest things out there so I'm gonna try and unsolder the LEDs that have died and put in new ones and see if I can bring it back to life and then sand this down with the Dremel epoxy it and glue it all back together because it is a pretty decent light it works well the battery has good capacity to it now and um, just something to be aware of if any of you go out there and buy this NU10 rechargeable headlight and have a similar problem as a side note I bought the NU17 which uses these uh, compact style of LEDs. And I've had one for just about the same period of time. I just purchased another one. And so far, it has been pretty good. And then this one actually has a flood mode with these two LEDs on the side. And then we have a high and a low for the red light and then flashing. And yeah, I don't think that does anything. I think it just locks it out. So as I say, this one so far has been so good. If it craps out anytime soon, I'll make a video on it. But um, if any of you are watching this and you have one of these NU10 that's failed in the same way, please drop a comment. I would be uh, interested to hear.